Hey everyone, Tech OG here, representing those who are 40 and up, who love their tech. And this episode is going to be about um, bags that I have purchased for my GPD Win slash Win 2 over the course of owning the devices. As you know, I've just recently uh, repurchased a Win 2 and have been using it extensively and kind of have to because it's now my daily driver. I have sold my uh, coveted Surface Book that I've used for a while. I uh, bought it last year, April, and that, that has been my go-to computer. It has been the best laptop that I've ever purchased. And I've purchased a lot. I, I still even have a, a, a Sony Vio. Um, I'm trying to remember the, uh, the uh, actual serial number of it. But um, I got it over here on my entertainment system um, on the um, bottom of it that I still kind of use just for like retro gaming or whatever to play on my TV. But um, as far as just using it on uh, using a uh, computer or a laptop on an everyday basis, the Surface Book has been my best computer I've ever used. I really wanted to get a Surface Book 2 and kind of can i mean it is expensive i mean i can uh put on the credit card or whatever but i didn't want to shell out all that money for it and so that's why i decided to run with the uh win two because i can of course uh cast the screen onto a bigger uh or uh, hdmi tv for example through the uh microsoft wireless display adapter something like that um and because of the portability, the portability of the GPD Win 2 is fantastic. I mean, it's, it's small. It fits, it fits in the palm of your hand. You can't do that with any other full-fledged computer that can run um, PC software. Uh, for f- full-fledged, excuse me, PC software, such as a SoundForge 10, which I use. Um, Vegas Pro 15, which I have used a lot on my book. Um, kind of use it on the win too. I got subpar performance on there. I'll explain when I do a review on, like I said, software that I have normally used for the book on the uh, win too. But again, this video is for bags. Um, just like buying a smartphone, um, finding a case, a case that you like for your phone can be very daunting. You've learned that from my, uh, previous videos that I've, uh, made on uh, cases for smartphones so finding a bag for your computer laptop or whatever that can also be very very daunting so I'm going to show you ones that I've purchased and one that I found on Amazon that I really like I mean uh, I'll explain it when you see it I don't want to give away the information right now I'll explain it when I present it so Let's go into the bags that I've purchased in the past. Um, I'll just start with this one. This isn't one I purchased first. Actually, yes, it is. I purchased this one first for the Win 2. Um, did the dimensions and... Not the Win 2, actually the Win 1. Got it for the Win 1. The Win 1 fits very nicely in here. It gives a little bit of uh, space at the top. The Win 2 fits incredibly snug in here because it's slightly longer than the win one so i got this bag because like i said it's small bought this um clip for it actually my wife bought this clip she uh had a two-pack and i took one so i got it you know what i'm saying to put it on my hip so i didn't have to carry a huge backpack speaking of backpacks when i had my book and when I bought a Win 1, I actually used this very, very nice backpack. This is the Moss, M-O-S. Um, what do you call this? The, uh, there's a Moss backpack. Just call it a Moss backpack. What I like about this Moss backpack is, um, 
when you know, it's a tech backpack, you can put a lot of tech stuff in here, battery and whatnot, a lot of great compartments. Um, not fond of the uh, color on the inside. Not definitely not fond of the orange. And I did purchase the black pack that Moss made, and that was a hideous backpack. So I just stuck with this one. So this one's cool. Like I said, a lot of um, compartments to put your tablet, your computer, things like that. I mean, a ton of different compartments. And the biggest selling point of this for me was this uh, power strip that came with it, where on the inside is a strip, and I'll show you all that later. Um, you can plug in your devices that you have in here. These are um, organizers for your wires for your devices. So you can plug in all your devices in that power strip and then plug in the power strip into an outlet and it charges all your devices at one time. That right there was a huge, and I mean huge selling point for this backpack. The sounds that you were hearing were the bags that I had on the table dropping down. So, sorry about that. There it is. And there's that. And like I said, I had that one, that bag, the Moss backpack for the Surface Book, my Win, and Win 2 when I bought the Win 2, and my accessories that I would carry and use on an everyday basis. Uh, when I wanted just to use the uh, Win 2, again, I just wanted to buy a small bag and carry a small amount of accessories that I would use on a daily basis. One accessory that um, is essential is a keyboard. Trying to type with your thumbs on the uh, Win or Win 2 is not that cool. So, I, could, I did have a um, keyboard for these little bags, and I'll show you what that looks like. Get it off my stand. Um, I've had this keyboard here for a while and bought this um, off Amazon. Um, I liked it because, like I said, it has a keyboard and had a little trackpad, your little mouse buttons left and right, and there's Bluetooth. So, to use this is basically like using the Win 1 or Win 2 keyboard, so it's, it's not the best. You know, it's kind of you know, basically like texting, but you can text better on a smartphone than with this with your thumbs so if needed you know i would you know carry this and, and put it in a the small bag to carry around with me but i couldn't put a lot of accessories into here it came with two compartments 140 win two and i just say one two now because i have that now and the other compartment for your other stuff so i will put my uh, mouse in here and other stuff, charging cables, whatnot, put stuff in here. But like I said, because of the amount of items I had, this became very bulky. So I had to X that bag. Like I said, having a moss was cool too. The moss backpack, I, I was just tired of carrying a very big backpack when I was just carrying my wind too with me. So I then went with this bag here. A little more uh, heftier, excellent material, um, more compartments, one, two, three compartments, plus a little pocket on the front, so here you have more compartments to put more stuff, so it wouldn't be as bulky, y you have a strap on here, um, glues on here, because I actually put a clip on here, you know, that I got from Amazon to clip on my hip, so I didn't have to carry it with my hands, that didn't work too well. But like I said, very sturdy. Um, the Win 2 went in here and it fit very nicely. Charging cables and whatnot went in here. My, my mouse, yada, yada, yada. Like I said, lots of great space. Padded very, very well. And it wasn't that expensive. Um, it's like maybe $14, I believe, on Amazon. Oh yeah, here's a pen loop. You can put your, uh, a capacitive pen in here or whatnot or just a regular pen. So this was a really good bag. But it did get bulky because of the um, accessories that I carry, so I decided to get that back too. When I purchased my Win 2 um, about a week, week and a half ago, the owner of it, the previous owner, he purchased a bag that was advertised on eBay for the Win 2. It wasn't made for the Win 2, but just the dimensions of it or the size of it was perfect for the Win 2 and accessories. 
This bag is made of leather. I hate the way it looks. I hate the stitching. It's just, it's just terrible looking. My wife looked at it and she was like, ew. I mean, of course, if your wife says, ew, you, you don't want your wife to be right on a lot of things. I was like, nah, baby, it looks cool. But of course, in my mind, I was saying, ill. I said ill before she said ill. So I had to, you know, come off my high horse and say, yeah, baby, you're right. This bag is hideous. So, like I said, it came with the wind too when I purchased it. And so I said, why not? Let me try it. Tried it out for a day. Ew. Um, you do have loops for um, a strap. Um, the owner or previous owner did not include the strap. So I could have used the strap from the other bag I showed you. But um, like I said, it's not bad of a bag. I mean, it has good space. It only has two compartments for stuff. This one's for the one you, or you can use that for the one, or one two, excuse me. And then put your mouse or whatever in here. Um, pouch in the front. And the zipper part, put smaller accessories in here. Very small compartment, very small. Um, and then it latches with just a button. Actually, it's magnetic, so it's not too bad. Turn it upside down, yeah. I mean, if you don't shake it forcibly, then the wind too won't fall out, but it could. It could fall out if shaken forcibly. So, have seen this bag, like I said, not bad. The one I showed you before, this one is better than that one because it's padded better. This is not padded very well at all. Like I said, even though it has a pen loop and it's made of leather, it's just hideous. So, I told myself I want a mini backpack. So I wanted a backpack like the mouse backpack that I have, but I wanted one with a lot of um, compartments to put all of my accessories. And so I went on Amazon and looked up mini backpacks and came across this one right here. What's this? It says Everest mini backpack found it on Amazon. I think it was less than $10. I got this one used for $8 and some change. Now, um, it being a mini backpack, it's cool. However, most mini backpacks are not padded. This right here, I mean, tough nylon material, just not padded. One section, put everything. This is not meant for tech stuff. This is meant for carrying this stuff. So let's say you have a, you're taking a weekend trip, you can put a shirt or whatever in here, some other stuff. So it's it's a cool backpack for that, you know what I'm saying? And the zippered, zippered pocket in the front. But other than that, it's one compartment, one giant compartment, kind of flimsy, tough material, but just a little flimsy. Cool backpack straps, it's, uh, kind of padded, so it wouldn't hurt your shoulders or anything. So this backpack, I was like, cool, but I need more compartments. So, that's where my last bag comes in. Um, saw this on Amazon, saw all the compartments on it, all the different compartments, and I said, let me see, let me try this particular backpack. There's not a lot of mini backpacks out there for people or for techies who have a lot of stuff, a lot of tech stuff that they use on a daily basis. And so this one right here is the one I went with Aocean, I, I guess how you pronounce this name. Um, this is the mini backpack that I purchased on Amazon. This cost $20. And, excuse me, um, first thing about it that I didn't like, the material. Yes, it is durable. And the way it feels, it, it feels water resistant, so water would, you know, just roll off if it was raining or whatever, or snow got on it and melted, it would just roll off. Don't submerge it. You lose, you lose um, functionality of your stuff. But anyway, what I liked about it was the compartments. The compartments, hands down, this has the most compartments I've seen on any mini backpack on the market. True story. I mean, more than coach backpacks um um and which ones did my wife show me she showed me a, a whole bunch of them because she didn't like this one she didn't like this one at all she was like this looks 
that doesn't look like a dual backpack. And I'm like, most mini bags won't look like a dual backpack. I get what you're saying, but look like a dual backpack to me. Why? It's black. Because I like black. And the compartments. Most tech backpacks like my Moss has a whole bunch of compartments. A whole bunch of compartments. And it looks like you can put a water bottle on the side. So to have a mini backpack to have as many compartments as this and to have a water bottle type of compartment even though I didn't try to put a actually I did try to put a water bottle in here and did not work at all so I'm mad about that but either, anyway nonetheless a lot of components and so let me show you what I got inside of here that I am definitely going to use um, not really on a daily basis but is this good to have whatever you decide to use for your one two all in one bag Again, mini backpack by a ocean. I guess it's something like that. Anyway, first compartment I'm opening up is my main compartment. Inside my main compartment, let's turn it to top view. Got a zipper pocket here. Got space in the middle and then a little compartment here. In this compartment right here, I have the keyboard that I use with my Win 2. This keyboard is a Microsoft um, Bluetooth keyboard. This retailed, I believe, for 100 bucks. I was lucky enough to get this because I didn't know about it and got this late in the game. Got this for $26. Don't hate, congratulate. Great keyboard, full size, tight very well. Yada, data, data. Folds up, magnetic, doesn't open up. Love it. Love this keyboard. So I got that there, and I also have a Microsoft Arc. Uh, Bluetooth mouse and this is made or this is the surface edition so when I had my surface pro and my surface book I use this extensively that's why it looks all messed up because I love this mouse it lays flat runs on two uh, AAA batteries and the batteries last for a while they last for a good while if you don't, don't use the mouse every day um, I had this in um, batteries in here for four or five even up to six months before a, a charge and these are charge uh, rechargeable batteries so works great so that's when I'm um, keyboard and mouse that I use for my GPD win oh what's this Aha! also when I'm um, needing uh, extra space if I if my GPD uh, win to uh, doesn't have space because I got a ton of games on there which I do um, I purchased this a while ago on eBay. This is a Samsung one terabyte SSD drive. And it's very light, very durable. Um, but there's a uh, peripheral right here. Instead of having the, the wire, because sometimes you're gonna have a short in the wire if it's uh, coiled up too much. So you just put this in the back of the GPD Win 2. It may stick out, but very, very sturdy. Love it, love it, love it. So I got my keyboard, got my mouse, got my storage, extra storage. And again, that's a terabyte. And the speed on that is impeccable. Gotta love it. Um, my wife gave me this little bag right here. Um, she didn't use, doesn't use it anymore. Nice leather Ralph Lauren bag. Um, what I got inside of here, instead of having these components, you know, all loosely out, I have my GoPro Hero. What is this? Six. Yeah, this is a six or the five. I can't remember what it is. Five or six. I think it's a five. Who cares? Anyway, I got the GoPro Hero Five in there, and got uh, two extra batteries, and I have a remote all inside of this bag. Again, better to have everything in one component or one area rather than loosely in the bag because it may get damaged if they're loose in the bag. So. Thank you, babe, for the bag. Appreciate that. And that's from the GoPro. And then in the zipper pocket, yep, you guessed it. I got my beautiful, wonderful Win 2. With love handles on the bottom. That's right. Got the love handles on the bottom with the stands. Pop the stands open. Watch this. You like the air intake? Boom, yeah. Boom, shakalaka. Look at that. Set you right on up. 
open the screen up, boom, works great. Please ignore the smudges. Yes, I used it extensively. So the GBD win fits very nicely in the zipper compartment of the bag. So that's my main component. This is what I'm gonna be mainly using for the most part when I have the bag. Okay, as far as the um, other compartments, let's start with the second compartment here. The second compartment houses my Apple AirPods. Cool. This right here is, um, you know how you have a, a, a cord, a multi-core that has different tips um, to charge different things that you have. So this right here I found on Amazon, yeah, Amazon. So you just plug this into USB port and then you have on the side, come on, open it, dang. Lightning port, charging a lightning device such as AirPods. On this side you have micro USB and there's one more compartment as soon as I flip this up. Ha ha! Adapter for USB-C or micro USB to USB-C. How cool is that? All in one sleek looking device. So I got that multi-port cord. I have my uh, PhD pen. I bought this many years ago. Still one of my favorite pens. Feel comfortable on the hand. Got to have an executive pen. Oh, that's a, this is not the executive pen. This is my Jot Dash. This is my capacitive pen. And this is a charger for it. Runs up to 14 hours when, you, when it's on the full charge. And you can use this to write on the screen or control things on the Win 2 or your smartphone. Very nice pen. One of the thinnest capacitive pens on the market. Really like this one. Really like it. It's on Amazon. It's on eBay. Go ahead and get one if you want one. Just got this cord um, on Amazon. Yes. 10-foot USB-C male-to-male cord. Um, the one that comes with the... Win two, right here, kind of short. So let's say you're in the bed and your outlet's kind of far away. This ain't gonna reach over to you so you can continue to play games and fall asleep while you're playing games. Get yourself a nice 10 foot cord. I think I got a two pack and it cost me, I think 15 bucks. Not bad at all for 10 footers. And these aren't, these are um, all over. So once you find them, get them. Definitely get them. Also bought, well, actually, this is the uh, adapter that came with the Win 2. Um, depending on your uh, port, your plug, or whatever, um, sometimes it won't fit that way. Sometimes it'll fit this way. So um, that's why I'm using this one right now because when I'm downstairs and I'm charging this, um, the closest adapter or um, plug um, is one way, and I got something else plugged in. And so I have to plug it in this way. I bought this one on Amazon which plug is in this way makes it a little uh, elonged or elongated so um I like it because you can uh, fold this up and this will charge the wind too because your voltage I believe you need a uh, 12 volt power charger and the original one is definitely 12 volts it's 5 volts and 12 volts there's a 12 volt uh, indicator right there. This one, this one adapted, and I didn't even check it. I didn't even check the voltage before I bought it. So, this one is 5, 9, 12. Does that say 15? 15 and 20 volts? This is a nice charger. This is very nice. So, there you go. You got your USB C mail that goes into there. And this allows your GPD Win 2 to fast charge. So you fast charge with this. Works very nicely. So like I said, now I got two of them. I can use one at home. When at work. This is going to work. This is for home. So that's what that is. Also in this bag, we got one more thing. My cross pen. Even though I'm no business exec, I've always wanted to have a nice pen for myself. So, bought this nice cross pen. And this is a tech pen. So it has two different pens and a pencil 
on air. So that's my pen. Love my pen. Got that on eBay used. Next compartment. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. And one little bag. Extra battery for my phone. So when I have my smart um, S9 and I run out of battery power, this is the best battery, uh, backup battery I've ever purchased. So you got your little piece here. You plug that on the bottom. And when it's fully charged, got a little indicator here that shows you how much battery power you got left. That's to charge up the battery. And it's a 3300 milliamp battery in here. So you can basically uh, charge your phone to full capacity with just this battery. And it's fast charging, so that's what's cool about that. What else do I have? Oh, a little stand for my phone. So let's say I'm recording and um, I didn't want to carry a big stand. So I got this one. Found this on B&H. Um, this company in um, New York City it says a whole bunch of tech stuff. So it's a bouncy thing. A lot of thing that allows you to put your phone in there. Up to a certain size. And you put it on the table and you have yourself a nice little stand that can adjust for your video recording pleasure which is absolutely great and folds up flat fits right into the bag but also I have a little stand hey what is this for it's not for anything I got on the table let me show you these wires are also for the thing that goes on this stand and what do I have <laughs> a mini projector get out of here look how thin and beautiful and small and cute this Brookstone mini projector is. Run, runs full HDMI port. That's the charge. Um, headphones so you can plug in speakers or Bluetooth dongle. That's right. Very smart. Bluetooth dongle so you can connect it to a Bluetooth speaker or whatnot. That's the focus. So like I said, if um, I needed to present something one day, which I will soon because I got this really cool project for my music uh, classroom. Excellent project. Can't wait to show it off. Invited some big wigs, big wigs from um, school district to come check it out because I'm the only one in the district that came up with the idea. So if I had to present and there wasn't any char um, 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 projectors around, I can just project, project this or use this. This can project up to 70 inches. Just got to turn off a lot of the lights because the lumens is pretty doggone low. But still, to carry a portable projector in your mini backpack along with the rest of this, come on, man. That, that, that right there is just too awesome. Too awesome. And I got one more thing in here. Ah, a charger for my Gear S. Now again, the original, the original charger made by Samsung, the company, um, has an extra battery in the charger. So let's say you charge, charge up the watch, and this is connected to it. Of course, it charges the watch, but it's also charging the extra battery in here. So let's say I'm running out of power on my Gear S. All I gotta do is attach this to the Gear S, and it charges the Gear S without a wire. How cool is that? most excellent charger one more compartment and then my video is done i'm almost at 30 minutes but it's worth it because as you can see a lot of stuff in a little bag extra controller for anyone that wants to play with me i got my controller on here but if i wanted a second player to play me in street fighter or dragon ball fighters i got all that on there i'm ready to whoop butt so if you want to get your butt wet I will have this controller for you. This is the 8-bit 8 8-bit 8 though zero Bluetooth controller. It's awesome. Feels cool if you got mm, small hands. If you got big hands, you're gonna be playing it like this. You can be like, oh man, you cheated. You you cheated, man. I can't I can't control it. You cheated. You know how people always blame you for cheating if they can't play it right. So I'll try to find a bigger controller for those with bigger fingers. But anyway, for me. This controller is pretty nice. Nice, very nice D pad. Very responsive button. Start, select, and two shoulder buttons. You really don't find that in a lot of small um, joysticks. 
or controllers. So that 8-bit though, as you can see, it does work. That's proof. What else do I have? Oh, check this out. I mentioned this before in a previous video. Gotta look for it. Best mini Bluetooth speakers I've ever, and I mean ever purchased. If you can feel them, it feels kind of hefty. This thing, two, two uh, speakers, great magnet in here. I mean, the base that comes out of here is pretty impeccable. Yeah, I use Velcro on here. I stick it to a lot of stuff. So what? But I bought this for $15 on Amazon years ago. You can't find this anywhere. I even, um, just, just for the, the sake of um, knowing, I put in um, my email address to be notified when Amazon will get these again. Didn't get a notification yet. I don't know if you can find these anywhere. I'm not selling this. If I do sell it, 200 bucks. Best mini speaker ever. I mean, the sound is impeccable. I'll have to demonstrate that in another video, you know, when I'm playing games or whatnot on my GPD win. Bluetooth dongle, I use this, you know, when I'm at uh, staff meetings or whatever, and they're like, oh, Mr. Brown, can you provide music for the staff meeting? Plug it in, I always have it with me. I just gotta charge it. I don't think it has uh, any power. Correction, it does. This thing holds a pretty good charge. Excellent. Anyway, that's what that is. Come on, turn it off. I don't want ready to waste. Um, three port USB hub, just in case I want to plug in more than one thing in my, in my GPD win, but most likely no. Extra flash drive. Got my name on here because there's lots of people that find these and don't return them. Uh, and teachers sometimes leave them in certain places, like the library and the computer. So, put my label on here. Someone can, of course, easily peel it off. And so, I got my initials permanently um, on here. So, just in case they say it's theirs, I'm like, oh, uh, there's my initials. Give me my flash drive back. Thank you very much. Also have... A Microsoft phone um, to plug into my S9 just in case I needed better sound quality for my videos. And I believe oh, I'm not done yet. You may think I'm done where I've opened up the front pocket, this compartment here, this compartment here. You think I'm done? I'm not done yet. There's one more compartment. Oh, yeah, like I said, the um, elastic size. You would think it will hold water bottles. It don't because they're too small. But it definitely holds a nice trombone mouthpiece if you got one. Yes, I told you my music teacher I played trombone. Haha. <laughs> I'm at the 33 minute mark. Let me hurry up. One more compartment is on the back of here. Isn't that the hot butter on the popcorn? And you can put in here accessories. So I got these accessories in the back. Got some lotion. Chapstick, and I got me some Via cream for my hands, face, and whatnot, so they can feel silky smooth. So check it out. All this in this one little bag. This bag, the Aocean cool bag, very nice bag, a lot of compartments, very flimsy, sounds like paper. Not padded, not pad. Well, this part here is padded, so this is pretty good. Up here, up here, over here, not padded. Feels like paper. It doesn't feel like the best um, backpack. Oh, by the way, the uh, straps are padded, so that's what's cool and adjustable. But like I said, to be able to have a mini backpack rather than a large backpack to put all of this stuff right here in, that right there is an excellent investment for myself so 20 bucks for the bag i'll leave a link for it um in the um, comment section if you're interested in getting one for yourself for your win and your other accessories and like i said my discord also fit in there too adapter fit in there too look at all this stuff that will fit in that little bag it is it is a tiny bit heavy who cares it got straps put it on your back you're good to go it's smaller than the Everest bag that I showed you. 
and like I said, more compartment. So, if you like it, cool. Like I said, I'll leave the um, link of it in the comment section. If you like this video, of course, please give a thumbs up. Definitely leave a thumbs up because, again, I'm back into the GP, the win two scene. So, show love for your boy, Take OG. Um, subscribe to my channel if you ever done so. Definitely tell your friends about my channel. Um, if my students are watching, hey, I love y'all. Y'all cool. Hope you like the video. Hope this inspires you to make your own videos like I've been telling you in class. Start doing things on your own. Start depending on certain people to tell you that this is good for you or whatever. You better start opening your mind up and doing things for yourself. You got me? So, like I said, thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends about my channel. And I hope to see you in my next video.